I'm Carolyn Forte, the director of the Good Housekeeping Home Appliances and Cleaning Products Lab. I've been here for almost 39 years, so I've tested lots of washers and dryers, dishwashers and vacuums, detergents, and all the cleaning products our readers use around the house. I also write the monthly Ask the GH Cleaning Lab column for Good Housekeeping magazine. Today I'm going to show you how to iron a dress shirt. It's not as hard as you think, and there's lots of great ways to do it, but this is the way that works best for me. When you're buying a new ironing board, look for one that's sturdy. It should be well padded and secure when it's opened with widespread legs. When you're buying an iron, make sure that you lift it up and hold it up in the store. It should be comfortable to grip. It shouldn't be too heavy or too light. Look for a water tank that you can see through and look for dials and controls that are easy to access. A few other ironing accessories that are great to have. An empty spray bottle, just fill it with water and spritz any stubborn wrinkles if your iron doesn't have a spray feature to remove them. And spray starch is good to have on hand too. It makes collars and cuffs super crisp. I start with the collar first. Iron the underside, then flip it over and do the top. Press outward from the body to the edges and the corners. This keeps the fabric smooth and wrinkle free. Next we move on to the sleeves. Open one cuff and lay it out flat, then iron both sides. Then lay the sleeve flat on the board with the underarm seam closest to you. If you don't want a center crease down the cuff, then iron up to but not over the top edge. Don't care about the crease? Then iron the whole sleeve just the way it is. Use the tip of the iron to get into the pleats around the cuff and then flip it over and do the other side. Then do the same thing with the other sleeve. This iron from Chi was the top iron in our Good Housekeeping Cleaning Lab test. Now we'll move on to the placket, or the center front of the shirt that buttons up. For professional looking press, turn the placket over and iron it first from the reverse side.
then turn it over and iron it around the buttons on the right side. Most irons have a button groove, so check yours for one. It's a little slot between the sole plate and the body of the iron that helps you go around the buttons instead of going over them and possibly melting them. Now it's time to do the main part of the shirt. Rotate the shirt around the board, stopping at the next side seam. Iron that flat. Then move around to the back and the shoulder yoke. Do the other side seam, the other half of the front, and you're done. The last step is the shoulders. Take the shirt off the board and lay one shoulder seam on the tip of the ironing board. Iron the entire shoulder area for a flatter line. Take it off and repeat with the other side. And there we have it, a perfectly pressed dress shirt. Please subscribe to Good Housekeeping and let us know in the comments what you'd like to learn about next.